My city has been getting attention in North America for committing $100 million over four years to accelerating the build-out of its active transportation network. Back in July, I created a video showing four places where some of the money will be spent and giving my best guess on what to expect. In this episode of Bike Bike Nudge Nudge, I will ride one of the brand new segments of active transportation infrastructure that is part of the build-out. I'm so excited. Also, if you happen to work for Brompton, I have an excellent sponsorship opportunity for you at the end of this video. But first, the new active transportation infrastructure. There it is, just behind the van. This is one reason I don't count wide sidewalks as bike infrastructure. They get blocked by drivers trying to enter the busy road, especially with the row of large trees to look around. But now, we're on the new infrastructure. As expected, it's a wide sidewalk to match the previous wide sidewalk to the east. There isn't even a center line to separate different directions of travel. I heard a rumor that continuous sidewalks would be installed at the intersections, but that rumor didn't turn out to be true. There are some tactile patches for the visually impaired though. In addition, the curb cutouts aren't as sloped or bumpy as the old section, so that's an improvement. I'm not sure what else I can say about this sidewalk. The lone driveway crossing it doesn't concern me. Homeowners will no longer be responsible for cleaning the snow, as that responsibility will fall to the city. And it's done. Yeah, it's done. This wide sidewalk is just over 200 meters long and took three months to complete. The online map shows that the sidewalk should have been three blocks long, not just two. I can't believe my city lied to me using a map. The new sidewalk does connect to these lights, but you haven't really gained anything by ending at the lights. Overall, it's rather meh. If the wide sidewalk is extended to this intersection, it will be good. There is going to be an LRT stop coming here. This area should densify more once the LRT is complete. So having a proper active transportation route reach this destination will be important. I'm looking forward to more of the network being built over the next two summers. The summer of 2024 was supposed to just get 16 kilometers of shared pathways built. This is an example of another project that was finished this summer. I'm sure the last two summers of construction will see 55 new kilometers of great active transportation infrastructure built, right? Right? And that's all I have to say about two blocks of wide sidewalk. It's exactly what I expected as it matches the previous section. It gives a rider a second set of lights at which to cross one busy road, but it really needs to be extended once the LRT is complete. Here's hoping my reviews of new infrastructure are more exciting next year. My next video will be from China again. That's much more exciting. Please consider subscribing if you want to see that when it comes out. Thanks for watching. Now, if you work for Brompton, I hope you've noticed the rugged terrain of the temporary crossings along the LRT construction. They're perfect to showcase the new G-Line. Also, winter is coming, soon to my part of the world. It'd be interesting to see some reviews of the G-Line paired with some studded tires out on the snow and ice. Contact me.